Here we go then, it's time to race in Mexico City, a place which gave Honda their first ever victory back in 1965. American Richie Ginther won from third on the grid. And what are the Honda powered cars this year? Well, Red Bull have been going strong here in recent seasons, so can they keep that record going today? We're a long way above sea level here in Mexico today, which could pose some cooling issues for the cars as they make their way around this 2.6 mile lap. 17 corners with top speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour, and watch out for potential overtaking into turns one and four. Alongside me once again for coverage of today's race, it's none other than the great Anthony Davidson. Why don't we discuss McLaren? What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Johnson lines up on pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Sainz, Max Verstappen and Ricardo, Latifi, Russell, Bottas. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty and Lance Stroll. Fernando Alonso, they've taken a grid penalty. Ocon, Sergio Perez, and Norris. Sonoda, Gasly, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Robert Schwartzman. Giotto, Mazepin, Aitken, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Mick Schumacher. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. <laughs> Hopefully you guys will like the lineup for this race. Uh, surprising that Bottas gets a penalty this time, though we got a penalty last time. Uh, starting in the front row of the grid with Leclerc here. Q1 and Q2 had the same, around the same time for qualifying time, but uh, Q3, we ended up knocking off three tenths of a second, getting us first place start with Leclerc on the front of the grid here. Alright, here we are as we are ready to start the race. We're off to a pretty good start here. Carlos Sainz getting in position on Lewis Hamilton. Charles Leclerc coming up behind us pretty close. We're moving to the inside trying to hold the line. Carlos Sainz move on the outside. A little bit of contact there on my back rear tire. Lewis Hamilton making a position up into second place and uh, holding that position against Charles Leclerc as we come on to the uh, second straight of the race. As uh, they're fighting for her position and we start to pull away. So we uh, have a little bit of leeway here. As Carlos Sainz tries to fight for position against Lewis Hamilton. And he regains that position now 1.38, 1.5 seconds now between myself and Carlos Sainz in second place here. Moving back to Lewis Hamilton's perspective, he had to lose his position against Carlos Sainz. And uh, that's pretty much how lap one went, was uh, we basically got up to almost a two second gap, if not more, here on the first lap as they are fighting for position. And uh, that first place start pretty much helped us out in this race. As uh, we're rounding out the last few corners of the first lap here, And uh, you can you can tell very well that uh, myself and Carlos Sainz in Unity here doing very good. Even though there was a little bit of contact between us at the uh, beginning of the first lap here on the first corner, as Lewis Hamilton tries to regain position into second place here, tries to fight for that fight for that position against Carlos Sainz, end up holding the position, forcing Carlos Sainz out a little bit wide here. So Lewis Hamilton holding second place on lap two. Moving on to lap four, Charles Leclerc did gain a few positions here. As Carlos Sainz dropped back to P6. Charles Leclerc taking a position against us as we uh, have a rough 
uh, racing line. And uh, they managed to hold a position for a few laps up until uh, here in a few laps. But uh, this S-curve here was pretty rough for us. Uh, trying to get in tune with it, especially with the soft tires, it was pretty rough to get through these S-curves. We had a lot better time with the mediums. As uh, we are out of the... We are still in range for DRS, but uh, doing our best as we can to uh, stay behind Charles Leclerc as close as possible now, and sitting over just over a half second behind Charles Leclerc here as we move on to the start of lap five. Still within that one second here, so we do get DRS. We do manage to make up a little bit of that time coming into the first turn here, but we do not get any position through these corners. We break late to try to get as close as we can to Leclerc. And uh, we can hear and see Lewis Hamilton moving up behind us in the mirrors there. We got our DRS again. Just these DRS zones are not quite long enough for us to make a move on Charles Leclerc here. As uh, we try to make a move on the inside and uh, end up going wide here try to keep our speed up into the s curves you can see lewis hamilton here still in the chase as i'm fighting for first place against charles leclerc trying to hold it as best as i can through these s curves as we uh, come out of the s curves into the next drs zone lewis hamilton does gain ground on myself and he does get drs as well And I do believe this next uh, start of lap of six here, we get some DRS on Leclerc. And uh, Lewis Hamilton in turn gets DRS on us as well. As uh, Lewis Hamilton's closing the gap here, we're trying to gain as much time as we can on Charles Leclerc. Once again, we are late on the turn trying to get as close as we can to Leclerc here. You can see that as we are on board with Lewis Hamilton still. Getting a little bit of ground against Lewis Hamilton as we come into the DRS. Moving on to lap 11. Moving to first place against Charles Leclerc. And I believe this was the lap that uh, Leclerc goes into the pits. Along with some other people that were behind us in the top five. Yes, yeah, so we have Charles Leclerc here, Valtteri Bottas behind, Carlos Sainz as well. And some of the top five, top six here coming into the pits, Lance Stroll. George Russell deciding to stay out, moving up to P2. About a 16, 17 second gap between myself and George Russell. Charles Leclerc managing to get back out on the track in P3. Nicholas Latifi moving up to P4. And uh, moving on to lap 14, we finally decide to come in for our pit stop. Still a little bit less than 17 second gap here on Charles Leclerc. So uh, you can hear him around the back there. You can see, hear him coming around. So uh, Charles Leclerc will be a provisional pole as we come into the pit. See Fernando Alonso making a move there on the grid against Yuki Tsunoda. There goes Charles Leclerc in the first place. George Russell also passing. Valtteri Bottas close behind. And uh, coming out right next to Daniel Ricciardo. Still about three to two second gap in front of Ricciardo here on lap 15. Max Verstappen, Max Verstappen P6. We have... Uh, I believe this was Leclerc, if not Fernando Alonso. So we're coming around on lap 22 here and uh, seeing where we can come out as we gain a position. I believe that was against Fernando Alonso. I don't remember here. We'll have to take a look here in a second. But uh, lap 22, holding onto those mediums as best as we can. Charles Leclerc closing in on us in P1. Valtteri Bottas close behind as uh, Lewis Hamilton actually dropped down the grid. I think he had a, at this point, he had a DNF uh, around here, around this side, part of the track. I believe it was like lap 20 something, but uh, we had 
two people end up uh, getting DNFs as uh, Charles Leclerc tries to close in on lap 35. But uh, throughout this whole race, um, we had a DRS issue after uh, lap five that we had to deal with. And then we actually ended up fueling the car uh, just short of what we needed to do because we were expecting a yellow flag. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get a safety car. We got two virtual safety cars. So we were able to manage on our fuel giving us enough gap so you guys remember that 17 second gap here and uh, still we're able to hold out on Valtteri Bottas and Charles Leclerc up to uh, lap 35 here as you can see the gap has now closed to two seconds now moving on to the final lap going to be on board with Valtteri Bottas here coming through the last few turns you can see how close he gets as we round the last few corners, fireworks are going off, the fireworks are red. We are having a race of a lifetime trying to manage our fuel as best as we can. See Valtteri Bottas coming into our mirrors and we managed to win the race. It's going to be two races in a row for Unity. It's victory in Mexico then, and what a victory it is after an incredible Grand Prix. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximize the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. That lead at the top of the table has shrunk somewhat today. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? It's got to be Valtteri Bottas, a commanding performance that I think had the audience's eyes glued to him for the majority of the race. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. The owner-driver's team moved to the top of the table. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.